Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lydia. I had so many questions about this hair that it was about time that I actually sat and spoke about it. First things first, I really wanted to try this hair to give you guys a real constructive review. I've been through a lot with this hair from trying to dye it to where we are back now here in black. <laughs> it's been a journey, it really has. This is water wave hair that I got from Ali Pearl Hair on AliExpress. This is the box that the weave came in. I'm a sucker for some good packaging. I have four bundles of 24 inches and a 22 inch closure. All of the bundles, all the hair has been made into a customized wig which I made by myself. This hair that you see here on my head has been through so much. I got green hair y'all. My hair is green. I gotta fix that. How, how do I even begin? I absolutely love this hair. I normally try and stay away from curly textures. I used to find that curly textures are really really hard to manage and they're just, ugh, it's just too much work and I don't really like that. I like easy care hair. To make sure that I don't have any knots forming is that I always try and brush it. As you can see my fingers go straight through it. Even at the back, I've never really had like a back knot. Can you see that the curls at the back still look uniform and they're not like they're not bushy at all which you get with some kind of curly hair in terms of shedding of course it does shed but it doesn't shed that much let's do like a test here so we've got two strands initially i wanted this hair just for holiday i wanted to dye it like a nice chocolate auburn i did that but i really didn't kind of do that you guys will see my struggle all through the rest of the video I am struggling with this hair. I don't know if you can see a slight improvement, but I tried to get rid of the orange that was in the hair. So I did dye this hair and then it didn't quite come up the way I wanted it. So I dyed it back um, to this kind of darker chocolatey color. The curl pattern has remained the same. I have bleached this hair twice. What I have noticed is that the curl pattern on the closure is a little bit different to the curl pattern on the actual hair itself. It's not that noticeably different, but for me, obviously I wear the hair and I know. I absolutely love this hair. I get so many compliments on it and people always ask me to know what it was, especially when I had it dyed a lighter color. I think that was more for me. I'm just gonna have to go and get it done professionally because I didn't have a clue what I was doing at all. So in terms of products, I went to Morocco where it's so hot and humid and I didn't kind of want my curls looking crunchy. I wanted it to look cute and soft. And essentially what I took with me was just conditioner. This is a conditioner that I use. It's the Garnier Ultimate Blends, coconut water and aloe. Guys, the smell of this, this is like empty. I have like two more squeezes left. It smells like paradise. It smells like coconuts. This is pretty much what I did to my hair. I would normally spray it the night before and just leave the hair drying. This really, really does help define the curls. And I also scrunch it up. Last I was on holiday, I was just letting the hair air dry. But when I'm at home and I'm trying to rush out, I use a big diffuser to just diffuse the curls and keep the curls popping. Recently, I have also been using the S Curl Curl Activator. I love this. So wait, let's compare. This is the side that has been sprayed and this is the side that was sprayed like yesterday evening. We spray it and then just run it through the hair. The conditioned side and this is the Est Curl Activator Puffin. This hair is so, so gorgeous. I can't believe that I've dyed this and I've bleached this twice and it still looks so, so cute. In the following clips, I will put my disastrous dyeing process from when the hair went from black Kind of the Albany ginger hair color and then back to this blacky browny color in the light it's kind of brown but to you it's probably just black I'm going to be dyeing my Ali Pearl hair into like a caramel brown chocolate goodness highlight hopefully this is my first time ever doing this so we're gonna see how it really goes um, I have a, a section of the hair here that I'm gonna do a patch test on just to see how the hair takes into the dye yes. Okay, so it's been exactly 10 minutes and let's have a look. Okay, so the hair is lifted. As you can see, there's browns all up in there. That's pretty cool. Colour has lifted here. Got a lot of copper in it. We're definitely going to have to tone.
For this one, I'm going to try and bring it all the way up until here. Nearly the top. Let's check on this. How it's cooking. Yeah. It's coming along. It's actually not even going that fast. I thought it'd be going a lot faster than this. Guys, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think. I am, um, I like it, but at the same time, I'm not sure because it's a bit brassy. I'm gonna see if I can put some maybe blue toner in it to try and lift it and take some of the orange away. But otherwise, I think it's not bad. Not bad for a first time bleaching job. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's actually, no, do you know what? It's not bad. I've changed my mind, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I've changed my mind, I think it's cute. Rose, let's I write it down for real. P.S. 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 Hi guys, I am struggling with this hair. I don't know if you can see a slight improvement. But I tried to get rid of the orange that was in the hair. So according to everybody online, to get rid of the brassy tones in the hair, you should mix some blue with conditioner and leave it in the hair for it to tone down the auburn and brassy tones. It kind of worked. My hair is not as red as it was. It's not. It used to be all of this red, but now it's a little bit more toned down. It's a bit more chocolatey brown. But I got green hair, y'all. I got green. My hair is green. My hair is green. You can see it more on the tip. It's real life green. Like my bed sheet's green. I gotta fix that. The curly pattern on the closure feels a lot different to the actual hair itself. The hair, I prefer the curly pattern on the hair. It's a bit more defined and the closure just feels frizzy. But that's not what we're dealing with right now. What we're dealing with is this green. Look, you can see the green. I'm tired of trying to fix this. But let me know, it doesn't look too bad on camera. It doesn't look too bad on camera at all. But in real life, my hair is green. I'm not going for the witch look. But the hair is gorgeous. The hair is just, ah! Oh, this hair has been through so much. It's been through heat. It's been through dyeing. It's been through so much washing. And the pattern just remains so, so cute! But as you can see, the closure is a bit more frizzy than the actual hair. So what we're gonna do for the one last time for the third round, we're gonna put some brown, some like light brown colouring at the bottom to try and balance out this green. So that concludes my review on the Ali Pearl hair. I absolutely love it. I see myself keeping it a lot longer and I really actually want to try more hair from them. It takes on to bleach and dyeing really, really well. That's one thing that I'm really happy. The hair feels no different to when it did when it first came. You guys let me know what you think about the hair. Again, it's Ali Pearl hair from AliExpress. Four bundles of 24 inches and one 22 inch closure. Let me know what you guys think. I will do a turnaround. Your girlfriend's in your clothes and then to the beat Break, I heard that